Hey everyone. Uh, this is going to be my Sunday update, only I'm doing it now. Um, like I said, I, I wanted to try to do it every week, and well, I guess I'm doing pretty good. Um, I want to show you my latest origami that I've been working on. Um, this is a kusudama, which is uh, a medicine ball, and um, I just completed this one uh, tonight. Uh, it's 30, 30 pieces of paper, really small paper, uh, three inch squared, and um, these 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 triads here, they open up into petals, and I, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to uh, to string it up first, and then I'm going to open all the all the triads. There's one that's kind of partially open here, but yeah, it's it, they open as as petals. So I'll be uh, working on that. I did try to take some uh, some photos of my origami for my Etsy shop, and I took about ten pictures, and o only um, only one came out good. Um, so I'm thinking that the best way to take pictures of my origami is to take it in broad daylight. Uh, so that would mean I'll just go into the kitchen where there's tons of light and uh, take the, the photographs that way. Um, I am working on a new Kusudama. Uh, this design, uh, I, I watched the video for the design uh, tonight and I've started uh, making the flowers. This is going to be the Gerbera, the Gerbera Daisy Kusudama. So there's going to be um, it says 20 units, but I think she made a mistake. Um, it's actually supposed to be, let's see, 5, 10, uh, 16, 17, 18, uh, usually 12 units to make a, a flower kusudama, uh, like the one that um, I showed earlier. Oh, it's up there. I don't feel like frigging around to get it, but you've seen it. Um, so yeah, so on that front, things are going uh, really well today. I'm gonna I pulled an all-nighter, um, and I'm gonna go to the uh, to the place where I get my origami paper because they get their shipments in on Monday. So usually by Tuesday, whatever stock they have in origami paper should be out. So they open at 11 this morning. So I hope to get there between 11 and noon, and I'm going to stay up uh, just to get, hopefully, the first selection if they did get a shipment on Monday. Um, apparently, um, like all the people that I talked to in the store, they literally put the origami out. It's out on Tuesday, and it's pretty much almost gone by Wednesday. Um, I, I did go in there um, yesterday and I did find some nice paper, that really rich uh, double-sided paper that I think I talked about in a, in a last video, in a video like a while ago. Um, I also had some um, some constructive sort of criticism regarding uh, my rose tutorial. Uh, there was uh, a question regarding the uh, one of the uh, the folds, so uh, don't worry, I will get to that. Um, I'll do a um, I'll do a, a really good close up of that uh, that particular uh, place where you're getting stuck at because it's really important. It's so important for me to get feedback from people who are actually um, doing my origami lessons because if I've not um, taught you something and it's unclear, then it's great that you tell me. Um, don't be afraid to tell me this stuff because, you know, it, it means the difference between uh, you just sitting there getting frustrated with a piece of paper or actually completing and learning what you need to do to, to make these things. So um, I really appreciate the constructive criticism and let people telling me where they get stuck. Um, if you do get stuck, just put the time in there where you where you get stuck, and just a brief description of like, you know, what what's going on. Um, let's see. Uh, let's talk about some kind of YouTube related stuff, Instagram, and 
blog TV. I did a blog TV on Sunday. Um, it went really, really well. Um, we talked about um, everything from uh, Libya to um, the, the rampant uh, uh, transphobia bullshit uh, that's going on on this site at present. Um, and uh, so, so that was good. Um, I did get to, I do want to say, um, I did go into um, Bubba McMack's Stick'em on Saturday because Gary didn't have his Stick'em. And um, I just, I guess I would just want to set this fucking clear right now. I mean, I, I think I said it pretty clearly um, when I went into Bubba's room for about five, five to ten minutes. But I want to say this again. Um, you know, I realize that there are very few people on this site that share the same kind of opinion that I do regarding prostitution and pornography, okay? But that's not a reason to um, to stalk me. It's not a reason to harass me. It's it, it's so immature that even at this very second, there are drama videos still being made about me and the people that are invested in the drama, Divinity three 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 seven two, and all her gang. And she's main. She's the leader of the whole thing, right? She's the one that kind of promotes this kind of stuff um, to, to happen. And, and uh, you know, her little hench people um, do sort of the, the, the most of the drama videos, although she has two channels dedicated to drama. Um, and, you know, it's just because I have a different opinion than you do, it really doesn't give you the right to get up in my face in my business all the time. I mean, it's it's been a, a little over a year that you, you know, you that group of people has been stalking every little thing that I do. And, you know, it. I just wonder when you people are going to get a life and grow up and realize that no matter how much you stalk me, no matter how many bad things that you go around and you PM to people, like your buddy EO picked did, and like you do too, Divinity, and a, and a whole lot of you. Um, you know, it, it's twisted. There's no real reason, okay? I have a different opinion. I've explained my position, and that's, that's just what it is. It doesn't give you the right to do that, okay? And when I went into Stick'em, okay, I basically said to Karina, and I hope you're watching this, Karina, you probably are. Personally, I don't have anything against you. I hope you realize that. Personally, there's no, I don't even know you. But somehow, because I have a different opinion than you, you seem to think by your silence that it's okay for that group of people, and you know who I'm talking about, to continually stalk and harass me. And this has been going on for over a year now. And the fact that you that you don't say anything, the fact that you, you know, that I can recognize that you have a different opinion than me, I don't have to fucking stalk you and watch all your videos and fucking comment stalk you all around YouTube because I don't agree with your fucking ideas. It's just really, really simple. I mean, no one's going to change their opinion. Right? I mean, I don't see anybody uh, that's, like, doing this. Is it, I don't see any budging going on, okay? I really just don't see it happening. I mean, even though for a long time I actually did consider myself uh, what you would quote uh, a sex positive, okay, which I think again is a complete misnomer and it's bullshit rhetoric. But I was, I did, I did take that position on as my ideology, but I grew out of it, okay. So I mean, I think some people can change. I think some people are on the verge of changing, but the people who have been after me for the last year or so are not going to change their position anytime soon. 
and I can tell you that I'm not going to change my position anytime soon. So why can't we just leave it at that? Why does it have to be a big clusterfuck? Why do my videos have to get false flagged when I expose you people for the stalkers and the fucking harassers that you are? So, Karina, I was a little taken aback by the fact that you got so butthurt that after four years of me watching Gary's videos, I've made one video about him and the gray cat, which I love to see in his videos. And I've been commenting like that for months upon months upon months upon months. And you seem to think that somehow, you know, like, I'm. what do you think? I'm trying to get into Gary's pants? What the fuck? I just consider Gary a good, great YouTuber. I like to watch his content. I think he's a really good person. That's my opinion of him, okay? And I, I appreciate the fact that, you know, he makes really good videos, you know? And, you know, in a way, that video is kind of like reaching out to him and kind of be like, yeah, you know, I consider you a friend. It wasn't an invitation for some sort of fucking, I don't know what you had in your head when you were talking about that stuff in Bubba's stick out. It was like you were all fucking jealous or something. Chill the fuck out, woman. One video to Gary for me in four years is not me trying to get in his pants. Not trying to uh, usurp your relationship with him, okay? It, it is ridiculous. You know, just, it's just about time that people just left each other be, okay? I really do. And like I said, I have no personal fucking gripe with you, Karina. None whatsoever. I didn't I don't like some of your videos. I think I think some of your videos are fucked. I'm sure you think some of my videos are fucked. But we disagree on uh this topic and somehow this is like you know what's been going on in the site with Divinity and all her gang is like, you know, no one's no one really speaks up about it. You know? Except a select few handful of people. Because they know what's going on. They've been involved in it. They've been watching this for the last year and a half unfold. Okay? And the fact that even after I made that video and show and showed everybody with evidence what what's been going on for the last year or so, they still do it. I could make another video after this one showing that they're still doing it. And it's not fucking right. It's a fucking stupid fucking demonization. Say a lot of bad shit about me to all these people so that uh, the, the drama level remains at this all-time fucking high. There's never been a goddamn break in it. I don't know. I'm just too interesting, I guess. I guess fucking when I come on and make a video about origami or my views, I mean, I have less than fucking 60 subscribers, and yet I manage to make so many people fucking butthurt. What the fuck? So, yeah. <laughs> I mean... It's just, it's just to the point where it's, you know, it's it's just tiring and it's old and it's like grow the fuck up. I I have more to say, but I've I've run out of time. I'll I I might I'll probably do a part two.